Hi, I'm Rachel Walling. I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia's Planning and Development Services. This year we have a variety of events for all ages throughout the month of May. We're going to have a bike ride um, that's going to look at current preservation projects and urban design projects with some behind the scenes tours. We're going to have a happy hour at Inda Coffee towards the end of the month where you'll get to meet with preservation staff um, and talk through a couple favorite preservation topics and ask some questions. We also have a window workshop where you get to learn about how to repair historic wood windows. Um, coming up this weekend on May 13th, we have a children's craft, which will be great for Mother's Day presents or an early Mother's Day treat. We'll be making uh, faux stained glass windows out of tissue paper with uh, Richland Library, Maine, over on Assembly Street. You can sign up for some of these activities and learn a little bit more about what we're doing this May at columbiacompass.org slash celebrate May. Hi, my name is Lee DeForth and I'm a comprehensive planner with the City of Columbia's Planning and Development Services Department. I'm here today to talk to you about Bike Month. Um, each May, the City of Columbia joins the nationwide celebration of National Bike and Bicycle Safety Month. And um, here in Columbia, it's May is a great time to ride. Um, the weather is still in our favor. Um, our streets are a little bit clearer as some of those college students um, Head, head out for the summer. And it's a great time to build community. So we know that May is a month where everything happens in Columbia. You know, we, we, we focus all our events in the spring and the fall, and we hope that you make time um, to celebrate Bike Month with us this year, whether it's joining a, a community-led ride. We have a calendar of events that lists a number of those ongoing recurring rides and some special rides that are specific to Bike Month in May. Um, we also um, celebrate Bike to Work Day on May 19th and Bike to Work Week, that whole week. And we encourage you to really um, be mindful about um, how you, you commute to work. And if you have the opportunity and are able, we, we would encourage you to try out bike commuting that week if you haven't already or, or really commit to, to riding more days a week than you might otherwise. So um, there, there are some great opportunities to, to join in the community on Bike to Work Day and, and bike with other riders. And that's an that's a easy um, start if you want to meet at a starting point and might, might encourage you to ride more often in the future. Um, we also celebrate with our preservation staff um, who have organized a preservation bike ride that um, looks at current and ongoing preservation and urban design projects in the city. And um, there, there are a couple of just community-led events that I, I would like to highlight um, that, that happen each May. The, the Midlands Ride of Silence, for example, is a, a really powerful um, event to be engaged with, and it, it basically honors those who have been injured or killed riding bicycles, and it's a, it's a very slow, family-friendly ride. Um, you actually, I think I want to say you you try and ride at two miles per hour, but that's a local organization that celebrates as part of a national movement um, each May. So the, there are some great ways to get engaged and to learn more about cycling in the Midlands, whether it's off-road or on-road or um, family-friendly rides or long-distance road rides. So we hope you take the chance to celebrate this May and hope to see you out there. And you can find out more at columbiacompass.org slash celebrate May.